All right. I'm going to show you guys how I wrap up my sheaths with paracord. I made a new sheath for my SRK. <laughs> I got the tip real close to the end here. Luckily, it's not sticking out. But I got tired of that. Securex is dulling my knife. So I made me a little sheath. And we're going to rip it. And make a belt loop for it. Also, I wanted to show you guys. I made this little knife. This little pocket boo knife. This thing is sweet. Did an OD green sheath. And then a Cure Knight Venom handle. A little, it's 3 16 inch thick. It's 3 inch blade. And it's just got that boo knife style design to it. So, and then I did, um, what was it? An eighth inch brass pins instead of the 3 16 And I did 3 16 rivets instead of quarter inch. Just because it's a small knife. But yeah, that's a little knife that I'm carrying around today. So, back to here. What I'm going to do is a good tip to, before you start is you want to kind of point the ends of your pair cord so it's a lot easier to feed through the holes and stuff. But whichever knife or whichever side of the knife you want your belt loop on is the side we're going to start on. So I'm going to be wearing it right hand carry. So I need it on the left hand of the knife. My left side knife. I'm just gonna run paracord through about two holes. Make sure you pull it in even. Get the ends of it even. Right. And then you can just push right there in the middle. Hold it. And what you're gonna do is gonna come this side. Take them. You cross them once, and then you cross them again. You do two twists in there, and then you just feed them back through the holes, or these holes down here. And when you pull this down, you can kind of wiggle it around a little bit. Get it right where you want it, center it up. You got an X there now. And you can actually, if you want to like cover your whole sheath like this, what you do is you would flip down and you go down to the next section on the back side and go back and forth. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna just do the belt loop part. And then we do another X, so we do one cross, and we do another cross. Yep. And then you feed them back through this hole up here. And this is where it comes in handy to have those ends of the paracord pointed. So you actually feed it through the hole. Because it's pretty tough sometimes getting it through there. Right, we got one side. Yeah, be a little stinky. Get in there. It's poking out the other side. It just won't go all the way in. Oh, there we go. Okay. You do the same thing over here, you pull on your string until you get it even. You can wiggle it around a little bit, get it to where you want it. And this side should be tight already. And at this point, your paracord should kind of hold its tightness just from the holes. So then you just loop it back down the same side, loop down. Through the hole down here. We go in there. You 
same thing on the other side. Should have made the tips of this pair of a little bit smaller. Wouldn't be fighting me so much. And there we go. Okay. They just give her a good tug. Get nest tight. And now we can start working on the actual belt loop part. So you take your side here, bring it up, and you run it underneath this string here. And then you come underneath the X. And back under it again pull that down and you want to keep this up here like that and just don't pull it down because it'll want to work its way into the middle just try to keep it pulled up like this and pull it tight let me do the same thing on this side got that far what you do is go around to the outside and you come back in underneath the two strands and then you just pull it around like that and then you just keep doing that and you'll probably get about anywhere from like nine to eleven little loops on here like this but uh, you can't really start pulling it tight until you get a few on there. So you get a few on there, and you can kind of work it and get them tighter. And then you just keep going until you get all the way up to the top, which should be about around 10 loops on here. It should be close to the top. Now, I'd say you want to have your holes in your sheath that you use at least two inches, two, two and a half inches apart for this to really work. If they're any closer, it's not going to be wide enough to fit your belt in there. But, and if you do two inches it'll be real tight on your belt it won't move around at all two and a half inches is a little bit easier to manipulate around and stuff let's see we got one two three four five six seven eight it's on there so far and we're almost there so you can just keep working that in there okay There it goes. So we got ten loops on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can either stop here, but we got we can go a little bit farther here. So we're gonna do one more. And on this one, when you come back around, you want to come underneath the X in the middle right there and then you want to come underneath back underneath this one and when you pull it make sure your loop is all the way up at the front there just give her a good tug it'll pop down into place and you just roll that a little bit get it all nice and even and pretty much got one side of that done. Now, what I do is I come back under the middle and then I just do a simple, bring it back through itself, do a simple little knot like that. 
is all I do there. And then I just repeat that. And you do it three or four times, depending on how wide your sheath is. So, we'll do it three times for now until we get this other side finished up. And we might need to do a fourth one. But you just keep doing that same knot over and over again. And it comes out like that. So, there you go. Get this side done. And we did 11 loops on that other side. So we're going to want to make sure that we get the same amount of loops on this side. Because if you do different amount of loops, it just looks weird. <laughs> Maybe I just OCD and it, having it one little loop off irritates me, but you know what it is, what it is. <laughs> so, let's see here. What's there? That all in somewhere. How many have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. There are three more. One, two. All right. And then on this last one. So we should have 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. So on the last one, when you come under, you go back underneath the middle X, and then underneath that top cord there. And you want to just pull this, make sure your loop is where it needs to sit, and give it a good tug, you know since down in there and then that's what your vet loops are going to be right there so you got two pieces of paracord inside with it just wrapped around there and it makes it thick enough it's easier to work with when you get your belt in there and whatnot so do the same thing on this side go back into that middle and then just loop back through itself. And just do that until it meets in the middle. This one looks like it'll only be three instead of four on this one. Oh, and you use about six feet of paracord, six to seven feet of paracord, <laughs> if I didn't already say that. Be bad if I actually forgot how much paracord you use, right? Just don't even say it. Okay, so this one actually, I got a little off center somewhere. One side is longer than the other. That's okay, because we didn't run out over here. We take a little knife, pop that off. Then you just burn it with a lighter. And that's all there is to it. Let me trim this one up a little bit. Just so the paracord sits down instead of poking up at you. And if you really wanted to, you could cut it off almost flush with the knot and then just melt it and like smash it into the knot and it'll kind of prevent it from ever coming undone on you. But I like to just do this simple knot here in case you ever do need to take it off. If you ever want to use your paracord for something, 
and this ain't gonna come untied on you so that's all there is too we got the nuts there that hold it all on there and then you got your belt loop here and your belt loop here pretty solid and that's the front of your sheath which you could also run a belt through there if you really wanted to I guess but yep that's all there is to it alright guys hope you like my little sheath wrap and little pocket buoy I uh, hope you guys have a good one.